So I guess high resolution um, is a term that's talked a lot about. Um, it's all over the web, it's in magazines, it's uh, at IFA in a big way. And um, I think it's quite clear that it's about better quality. And um, what do we exactly mean by better quality? And we can assign lots of ways of measuring quality, like frequency response, harmonic distortion, dynamic range, and so on and so on. And digitally speaking, high resolution is about basically going beyond the specification of compact disc. And CD has been one of the most successful format carriers ever. In fact, it's been around with us for a long time now. And the interesting thing is, uh, for a long time, we've been recording in the studio at higher specification levels. For example, 24-bit and above. Now, we're also using faster and higher sampling rates. So if you uh, follow that through, it makes logical sense if we can take that higher quality and put it into a format that we can enjoy. Now that can be in a packaged media form, um, or it could be, uh, and it's becoming extremely popular, in a downloadable form. So you can easily access that content and put it on various devices. And there are a number of telecommunication companies that are coming up with chipsets that can handle um, high resolution codecs, in other words, higher bit rates, uh, faster sampling frequency and much more data because memory in itself is becoming uh, a commodity that's quite affordable. Now, you can say, uh, what, why did we do it in the studio when originally we've been living with CD, which is only 16 bits, sampled at 44.1 kilohertz. And um, part of that is because of the noise. So when you make a, a studio recording, um, you want to do various things. You want to mix and you maybe want to edit and so on. And that process in itself can introduce various artifacts, for example, noise. So if you start at a higher bit level with a, 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 um, a much higher quality, then any degradation that occurs is, is minimized. But of course with CD, we had to go then down and back to 16 bit. And we as a company developed something called super bit mapping which allowed us to take the noise that's generated, uh, we call this uh, a kind of quantization noise, and push it where you can't hear it. This is called noise shaping. Now, that worked very well, but now we're in the situation where we're really saying, we don't need to do that anymore. We can take it natively as is and allow you to enjoy it at a level of performance that will literally take you almost to the live event or the recording when it was done. And um, there are different grades of um, levels above CD where, where we enter the higher resolution realm. I mean, for instance, you can have a higher sampling rate at 16 bit, so you could have 16 bit, 48 kilohertz. You could have 24 bit at 96 kilohertz. And then moving towards a kind of uh, typically upper level or upper echelon, if you want to call it that, of PCM, linear PCM, you have 24-bit, 192 kilohertz, but there are even higher levels. Now, that's one approach, and there is another, because more bits don't always equate to, shall we say, the ultimate kind of sound, and that's something called direct stream digital. Now, DSD turns things slightly on the head, but gives you an outstanding experience by utilizing um, essentially one bit. So you utilize a very, very high speed data stream running at uh, at least uh, 2.8 megahertz of high speed um, single bit data, which represents, if you like, the density or the structure of the musical waveform um, by utilizing a single bit stream. Now, you can actually even now go above that and we already work with a double DSD rate, um, which runs at around 5.6 megahertz. Now, uh, because it's digital, you can access those files also from high resolution music download sites, and they are amazing. When you listen to a, a DSD file downloaded, it really, really is uh, something special. And at the show at IFA, what we're trying to do is to allow you to listen to high-resolution music in um, high bit rate linear PCM formats and also uh, DSD, of course, as well. And, of course, the equipment we're using in itself has happened to take a level up. 
So for instance, the hard disk player system we've developed and the one that we're demonstrating utilizes um, uh, wh what I would term an ideal D2A converter system for DSD itself. And because it's built around, if you like, the, the finest quality replay, we've even engineered what we call a remastering system, such that a lower bit rate that comes into the product can actually be then, um, for want of a better description, can be upsampled and turned into a DSD stream. So then you have the optimum playback for whatever basically you throw it, care to play back on the unit itself. So I think um, high resolution is something that's going to touch our lives in uh, many ways. I mean, whether it be on a, a mobile product, whether it be on a computer system, um, where already um, you know, these files, if they're stored on your computer, uh, you can connect a high resolution um, USB DA converter simply to it. And we have a product where you can simply listen via headphones. And headphones themselves are making great leaps and bounds in terms of extending their frequency range, um, you know, lowering dis their distortion and so on, to make the most of this, this technology concept. And I really think that uh, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Well, in this case, it's listening. Um, and uh, I think, <laughs> listen and you'll see.